You're dreaming, Nick. But it doesn't mean this isn't real. Sarah. I'm not your wife, Nick. I'm an angel. Angel? My name is Lucifer. Sure. Naturally. Um, could you do me a favor there, Satan, and remind me to quit drinking before I go to bed? I'm here because you're special, Nick. There's very, very few people like you. Is that so? You're a vessel. Very powerful vessel. Meaning what exactly? I need to take control of your mind and your body. To be honest, it'll probably be unpleasant for you, but it is necessary. Okay. Look, if it's just the same to you, I think I'd like to wake up now. I told you, this is real. Don't be afraid. This is your choice. You need to invite me in. Even if this is real, which it's not, but assuming it was, why the hell would I do something like that? You people must understand me. You call me Satan and devil, but do you know my crime? I loved God too much. And for that, he betrayed me, punished me. Just as he has punished you. How could God stand idly by while that man broke into your home and butchered your family in their beds? There are only two rational answers, Nick. Either he's sadistic, or he simply doesn't care. You're angry. You have every right to be angry. I am angry too. That's why I want to find him hold him accountable for his actions. Just because he created us doesn't mean he can toy with us like playthings. If I help you, can you bring back my family? I'm sorry. I can't. But I can give you the next best thing. God did this to you, Nick. And I can give you justice. Peace. How do I know you're telling the truth? Because contrary to popular belief, I don't lie. I don't need to. What I need is you. Nick, I need you to say yes. 